Hey guys, it's Derek, Children's Pastor with Lifeguard Kids. I want to show you guys how to do this uh, trick with the shapes. All right, what you need is a cell phone to do basically what he, what he was doing. Um, you wouldn't have to do it this way, but it's pretty simple to do it this way, and it's not actually very expensive. And you can use this for a multitude of forces and um, and prediction uh, tricks or object lessons that you might want to use. So let me show you what this is and uh, basically what I'm going to do is turn this around and I'm going to show you my cell phone. <clears throat> okay. So this is my phone and this is what was used to do, to do the trick. This is the app. iForce. Now this app uh, you can see right here is $2.99 on the Amazon App Store and uh... let me click on it they have other ones now i'm quite positive that this was originally on the iphone so if you have an iphone you'll be able to get this too but it's called iForce and then it, it's got these uh... this picture of uh, this doodle it looks like it's called doodle so when you install it to your phone this is what it looks like it's called doodle so you can actually pull it up like it is a full outright drawing close that and you can just sketch on there I've actually my kids have actually played on this app just to draw now the trick comes in let's see if we can get this without the glare okay All right the trick comes in with with this app when you take two fingers and slide them down this is the uh, these are the tricks here now these are all the these are all presets except for these two down here that I made and uh, you can see there's one to four one to eight ESP symbols which is what I was using uh, money foods arrows now these are different ones but you can make your own but let's go into ESP symbols and what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to open up the edit preset so you can see what this looks like okay I added some to this uh, the heart the triangle and the uh, stop sign were not on here before but I added those on there so that I had eight choices and so what I did is I took and had a board or you can have a paper whatever that has all these choices set up for the kids to choose their shapes from okay and so you'll see this is one two three four five six seven eight now there is a, a memory trick here that's going on so like the one it, it has no sides it's one continuous drawing two it's got one two the three it's got the wavy lines one two three four one two three four then five one two three four five now this and then like I said these last three I added on here so the six is I put a heart because I thought that was a good shape to have. And then I put the triangle, which is another three. Now, of course, you when you click on them, you can edit the, it to something different than it was before. And you just have to hit done to finish out. And uh, these this will save when you hit done here. All right. And if you'll notice, there was some that's, that had uh, a bunny and some that had a turtle. So the number one has a uh, a bunny when you click on this it opens up to your drawing app okay so you can pretend to you can do whatever you want so you can see what that drawing is right now then you turn the phone over so right now you would tell you tell them that <clears throat> you've drawn whatever shape it is so let's say that they chose the circle now the circle if you remember the phone in the picture was laid like this and the circle was here and it was number one so that means that you flip the phone from this side like that and you do it fast and now you see the drawing that I drew on there is no longer there it's a circle so it doesn't matter what you put on it or what you do to it it's how you flip it over so I've got it set to be reflippable so I can actually take this and I can put it down again and somebody else could choose a shape so let's say that they chose, 
let's say that they chose the heart. The heart's slow. So I slowly turn this over, and now you see there's a heart on the on the device. So it's I force because you can literally force anything you would like to make sure that you have somehow divinely been able to perceive what it is they they wanted and so some of these others is like the money this is money amounts you can say walk up to somebody and say how much money do you have in your pocket and then they'll say how much it is and, and you'll pull out this and show them that you were able to say how much money they had so if you get this app you can pretty much do this trick without any problem and like I said it's only two ninety nine and you can use you can use this for a multitude of uh of different uh forces and, and tricks. Now of course it's not a force you're they get a they really get a free choice of eight different things to be able to pick from. So you get a free choice of eight things that it could be and then have that come out. So you get to have eight objects on a table. And then you go, you choose any one of these objects, and then you flip over your phone and say, "I knew you were going to choose that." Um, and so, basically, you know, the, of course, the idea for the trick that we just did, and uh, this may change because I may say, you know, I may use this again for something else. But the idea we just just did, it was uh, Heavenly Father. He, God knows everything about you. He knows what you're thinking. He knows what you're choosing. And of course, Dodo messed up the first time. He actually messed up. Now, if you you may not have been able to tell that when you saw the uh, performance video, but he actually messed up. When, it, when he flipped it, he flipped it uh, fast instead of slow. And so it had the wrong uh, shape on there. But it worked to the advantage, and that seems to happen a lot. But So he was able to explain how an earthly father can make mistakes, or, or will make mistakes, but the heavenly father won't. He knows you inside and out. So that's a cool way to, to kind of do that particular trick. And uh, so just enjoy that. Um, you know, all the other stuff is just uh, to help the kids be able to pick the shapes and draw them out. And uh, I'll have a list at the start and the end of this. So see you guys later.